Hey, uh, this is Fred. I just wanted to show off real quick something that I've worked on for Love Plus. Right now the green light is going and you can find out about that at bit.ly slash lovegreenlight or by going to love-the-game.com. So I'm just going to show you real quick uh, how easy it is to make your own level in Love Plus. If people keep asking me for a level editor, I can't really do that. But I do know how to do some import scripts and I've found a way using uh, Photoshop, MS Paint, GIMP, whatever your favorite uh, image editing program is, you can draw your own level and simply import it. And I'll just show you real quick uh, an example on how to do that. This one is based on one of the later levels in Love. So, uh, as you can see, we've got a bunch of layers that are all turned off. And you just turn them on, and you've got yourself a full fledged level right there. Uh, this is literally just ripped directly from later in the game. It's got a lot more animation to it, but uh, in this version it'll be solid and uh, flat. So, also you'll you'll be able to import your own animated GIFs if you're into that kind of thing. So if you want moving bouncers and stuff, all you have to do is prepare an animated GIF file, and that'll work. And you can do it of any uh, file size, or uh, in terms of kilobytes, megabytes, whatever, or uh, based on however large you want it to be. If you want it to be 1024 by 1024, go for it. If you want it to be just 160 by 120, go for it. Does not matter. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you real quick uh, how easy it is to change a level or to create a level. So I recommend using the pencil tool, which has no anti-aliasing whatsoever to it, which if you use anything with anti-aliasing, it'll consider it to be a different color than the background. The background color is determined by whatever is in the bottom left corner of the image. So I would recommend always keeping that black or have an extra row of pixels down at the very bottom that is black. Uh, all you have to do is grab your pencil tool, go to the right layer, the solid layer in this case, and just draw. It's really that easy. One thing is that a lot of people get sick of the the three color motif that I decided to go with for the game. So if you want to, you're more than welcome to change up the colors. So. Now you've got to turn off all the other layers when you're exporting it. Uh, go to File, Save for Web or Devices. Uh, this is, of course, only if you're using Photoshop. I don't. If you use something else, I don't know what to tell you. You'll have to figure it out yourself. Uh, you just want to save it as solid.gif because that is your solid. You'll have the goal point, which is the place that if you run over it, that ends the level. Uh, the death layer is, of course, the, if you touch any part of that, you die. If you touch any part of the bounce duck, if you bounce. So, I'm just going to save it as solo duck if. I'm going to replace the original. And I'm just going to boot up the game. Alright, you've got a different title screen here. As, uh, of course, you see the your name here. That is actually one image that you can edit, so that way you can customize the title screen. You also have title cards, uh, and it's another image that will automatically import into the game. All you have to do is modify it, and then it will automatically import it. So, bam! In the game. That quick, that easy. Here's that solid area that I built before. There's the bouncer still. Very loud. And if you hit the white, you die. Uh, I had uh, apparently already changed the color of some of the spikes, too. But if your if your image size is white or image color is white, it will stay. White. And that's it. Thanks, and uh, remember head to bit.ly/greenlight or click any of the links down in the description and go vote yes.